Hey, good evening folks, Boda Bob here. Hey, I got my uh, wood yard cleared up of all that uh, pine that I cut down. Cleaned up the wood from this fork of this ash tree. It was laying there where you're at. I decided to try to cut it down. This one did fall where I uh, aimed it. Well, actually I wanted it to go there, but it fell there, which is okay. However, it got hung up in a couple of trees. This uh, worries me a little bit because it's covered in poison ivy. Now, poison ivy there. Okay, we got that. This is what we're dealing with. Well, it's hung up in there, not too bad. Small trees, I should be able to pull them. This is the thing I hate worst about cutting firewood, and that is this vine, these leaves, these seeds, seed pods, and the vine that runs up the tree. That's poison ivy. A lot of you all will know it if you're from, if you're not from North America. And I think England has it now, thanks to uh, the colonists. Starts in the ground, and as it matures, it will create a, a vine about two feet high and it, it, it searches for something to grab a hold of. And once it gets a hold of something, it climbs it, whether it's a wall or a tree or a fence or a telephone pole. You drive it down the road in rural Pennsylvania, at least I shouldn't speak for anyone else but Pennsylvania because I know it does it here. You'll see these telephone poles covered with a, a leafy vine. This is it. This is ivy. Poison ivy, not ivy. From what I'm told by a doctor, when I got a case of real bad poison ivy as an adult, a third of the population is immune to it. They don't get, they don't break out in a rash. Another third of the population is slightly uh, gets the rash. And the, the remainder, like me, at least that's how I classify myself, get it bad and when you get it bad it's bad uh, how you get the poison uh, is there's an oil in the leaf in the seed in the vine in the roots in the ground every part of the poison ivy plant contains the oil I forget what they call it someone help me out tell me what it's called down below every part every part of the poison ivy plant the leaf dried leaves dead leaves doesn't matter if you're allergic to it you'll get it I'm probably going to break out all over so but it's got to be done what I'll do is I'll get a scraper and scrape this off um,
both halves of that uh, tree trunk out. I left the top back there and uh, I'm happy with what I got accomplished. I need to run back there, grab my chain buckets that are still in the woods and any other gear that I left back there, like my camera box. So, uh, thanks for coming around, checking me out, seeing what's going on. And uh, until next time, you know what to do, smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop recording.